Hey folks, this is Max with Dr. Workflows. In this video, I want to show you how to add error handling to your flow. So what I built here is the flow has three cards or three steps. And so the main part is right here. So I'm doing a get, I'm connecting to an external API. I'm using this really neat service called mock.codes, which I can show you right here. So it just, it can return the code and then the code will specify the error. So this is really good for testing. Let me quickly show you how this works. So I got 200, which is a successful uh, result. We can test right here. All right, and we get the status code, okay? Now I have a card before, uh, this is really just, just to have a card before this uh, get API call. And then I have a card after. So let me run this when the API uh, is successful. So 200 is successful. So let me run the entire flow. So we can see that this card is executed and then this uh, card uh, calls this method and it's successful. And then, so what's important because this is successful, the next card is also processed and invoked. So uh, ID set to 200. And of course, if I had any other cards here, they would be processed as well. But now let's see what happens if I change this to uh, 500. So 500 is an error, so let's test. All right, so this card is executed. Uh, and now we get an error. And notice what happens here, that this card is not processed anymore, right? Because of this error, so the flaw stops, okay? And so what we wanna be able to actually have is, we would like to, you know, in cases we do get an error, but we still would like to continue the execution, okay? So how do we do that? Well, we need to be able to sort of handle this error, sort of catch, uh, do a try catch uh, type, uh, you know, logic. And then, so catch the error and then continue the flow, right? If that's what we need. So to do that, let me go back. Uh, we need to put this um, into uh, try catch type logic. Now, the way this is done is uh, we can say try. Um, so if error, right? This is an error handling, so it's right here. So if error. Okay, and it's two sections. It has try and error. So first we're gonna, in the try, we're gonna put this API call. So you can just drag and drop a card like this. Oh, I missed, this happens. Let's do this again, here we go. All right, um, so we're gonna try this. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some, some, some logic um, just really for, for testing. We're gonna add another sign card, uh, just sort of to, to see how this logic is executed and we can say um, all good, for example, okay? Um, and now the other section is the error, okay? Now, if an error occurs here, then this section will be executed. And we can see there's this section here and it has the error message information. And then here you can add any number of cards the same way, let me just go back here. You can add it assigned or you can add more cards as well. Let me go back to error. So we're gonna say here, use a sign and say it failed. Okay. Now we can also create an output for this card. And to do that, you have to click this view outputs. And then we're gonna say output. And then the way this works, again, I'm in the if error um, maybe it's actually, let's go back here, actually to try. So the way this works, it says, it says drag output here. So this is, this is the logic if, if this try is successful. So you take this and you drag and drop it like this, right? I just, I went back just to do it in order. Um, and if I switch to error, you can see that this one is kind of a, uh, it says drag output here and then you take it. All right. And perhaps what we can do is we can add another one here and we can say something like this. So this output will contain either the successful run or the error logic, right? Just depending how the card, uh, how this card um, is uh, executed, right? So that's how you create the try, uh, try catch type, type logic.
right? Now, um, so let's see how this works. So let's first go to 200. So we know this works fine. So let's test. All right, and we can see that the try, you know, logic is processed. We can say all good, and we can see um, the, you know, the 200. That was that's what we had before, and then we have the all good message, right from here. So this is uh, so far it's so good. It just works as we uh, expect, right? We continue the flow execution. Now, let's go and make this 500. Right, so this is where we had the problem. Test. All right, so what you do need to do is notice we're in the try, um, we're in the try section. Actually, this worked, but you can switch to if error and you can see that, let's open this, and you can see that this section now was processed, okay? You can go back. We can see this assign wasn't processed because it failed, but this one, and then here we can see the output, it failed, okay? So we, the result is what we want, uh, the card failed, but we caught the error, um, and then we just continue the execution, right? Because we can see the output here. So that's how you add uh, error handling to to your flow. Now, of course, I've used uh, API uh, API connector get card, but you can use other cards. So perhaps you can, you know, if you're searching for a user, for example, and for whatever reason, you know, you provide an incorrect ID. Uh, so a card might return an error, so you could use that as well. But just in general, uh, this can be applied to, to any situations where you get an error. All right. So I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.